another episode of 18 Questions with Notably Gray. My name is Aja Price, and I am super, super, super excited, y'all, to be joined by Cameo Bobo. Woo, 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 woo. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much, Cameo, and we're just going to jump right in. All right, I'm excited. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about where you're from. Um, I'm originally from Jackson, Tennessee, born and raised in Jackson, Tennessee. So um, Jackson is right outside of Memphis, Tennessee, and I came to the Middle Tennessee area to go to college at MTSU, so that's how I got up here in Nashville. Okay. In one sentence, tell us what do you do? Okay. I help women evolve, achieve goals, and be beautiful every day through teaching resources, through speaking, and also um, online resources that I have. My background is I'm a fashion stylist, I'm a natural encourager, um, a natural motivator. Also, I do modeling. So all of that kind of came together and created um, I Am Cameo, where I help women evolve, achieve goals, and live their best life every day. Now, I also am a mentor of a girls group called FOM. That stands for Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. We're all about letting girls know that they're fun, fearfully and wonderfully made, beautiful, unique princesses. And we're spreading that message through music, retail, merchandise, and um, also events. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. Out of all the goals you've had, what's the one goal you're most proud to have accomplished? The one goal that I'm the most proud to have accomplished? Um... This may sound a little, so, so, so I had a goal of walking on to, I had a goal of getting my t-shirts on a Times Square Boulevard billboard. Mm -hmm. And I was able to do that for free of charge. It just took a little faith and took a little push of me, but I was able to achieve that. And um, I know that may not uh, have changed lives, but it showed me that if I write something down, and I follow the steps that are in my heart that I can achieve it. So that, is, that inspiring story for me inspires others to know, hey, if she can do it, I can too. So that's one of my that's good. Goals. That's really yeah. neat. That's yeah. really neat. I want to hear more about that story a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You've been given an opportunity to speak in front of 10,000 women who aspire to become small business owners. What would your topic consist of? Hmm. Um, my topic would be, what do you have inside of you that you want to share with others? Mm -hmm. I think it's really important that we realize that each of us were created in a unique way. And I think that we get sometime into the mold and the formula of following somebody else's footsteps. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with uh, ground rules or guidelines, but I think that you should make those your own. And within that, be sure that you're always putting out what you have inside of you, because that's really what people need. Um, they might like your idea, they might like your platform, but really what they deeply need is what you've been through and the way you overcame those things and share those things in your business. So I think that it's important that we always add our personal touches to our businesses. So I would share with them about bringing out what you have inside of you into your business. So it is your personal business. I really like that. I would actually love to attend that whenever. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> what does it mean to be a farm girl? To be a farm girl means that you got it, you know, that you're unique, that you're a princess, that you're made to be respected and you're made to be loved and to show respect to others. Okay. It means that there is no limit for you, that you can do anything that you put your mind to. As long as you continue to believe that you are farm, you can do anything. That's what it means to be a farm girl. I love that. All right, here's my favorite question. Finish the lyrics. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> I'm ready. Fearfully and wonderfully, you made this me. Represents <laughs> princess every day of the week. Ooh. I'm fine with it. Hey. I'm fine with it. Hey. I'm fine with it. Ooh, I'm fine with it. Hey. <laughs> that your son will tell about you when you're older? Hmm. Uh, a story, a good story, or, a, you know, they always want to tell how you made them do your chores. Um, a good story that Kyrie would tell, 
I think he would tell this story. Um, eight years ago, I was believing God for a house. I grew up in a house with a mom and dad, and I wanted to give Kyrie that gift also. So um, it took me about six years to get my first house, but I finally got it eight years ago. And before we moved into this home, I would come out here and I would sit in the backyard on the deck and I would just pray and I would just confess and I would just imagine us living here and coming home here. And we would do that every night. We'd come out, out, out to Antioch and we'd drive around and I'd sit in the backyard and he'd come back there and he'd be like, mama, why are you back here crying? I'm like, Kyrie, because I really want this house and I'm going to manifest this for us. So um, it ended up happening and I believe that's the story that he would tell you. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a try. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it even more that you went to the house and sat on the back porch even though you didn't I did, house. I did. Nobody nobody lived here, so I would come. <laughs> that is so funny. Mm -hmm. If you could create your own fashion line, what would you name it? What would I name it? I probably would call it FOM because I think it's important that each of us um, are really in touch with our inner FOMness. All of us have an inner fondness that I feel like we need to share with the world. All of us have some type of identity that we feel like, that I believe we should share with the world. And um, sometimes within fashion uh, trends and styles, we get so bowed down with being like each other or tapping into the newest trend. And I just encourage people to um, tap into those trends, but wear them the way you want to wear them. Wear them the way that makes you feel confident and makes you feel good. And I always add a little sex appeal to it. So I would probably call it fun. That would be my next question. What would it feature? Okay, it would be fun. It would be um, it would be fun. It, probably in some areas it might be a little flashy. Because I think that sometimes we're just a little overly conservative. And I think sometimes we just need to have fun. But it would consist of uh, clothing, accessories, shoes. I think we don't have enough fun shoes. So it's just some fun shoe ideas, some sneaker ideas, some slides. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay, I like it. In your best superhero voice, say, I am powerful. In my best superhero voice, say, I yep. am powerful. <laughs> I am powerful. <laughs> Girl, look at those guns. <laughs> you are. You really a virtual are. workout over the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> How are you holding up during these times? Uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I really miss socializing. I really miss meeting up with people. I really miss going out, going to the movies. That was my thing. Um, the other night I had a virtual Zoom group call with my friends and the other another week we had a time of virtual call with um, all of my high school classmates. That was fun. So those things have been helping to keep me social and keep me feeling like cameo. I'm a really, I'm a big people person. So that's keeping me going. I'm grateful that I have my son here with me. Um, We've been able to bond on a different level. I'm sure I get on his nerves, but I really enjoy spending this time with him. He'll be going to college in the fall. So I really focus on this year, just spending time with him. So this gives me time to spend time with him too. That's awesome. What's the most unique thing you've ever worn? The most unique thing that I've ever worn? Uh, oh, I have a, mm. oh, so, um, <laughs> back in Jackson it was this older lady that went to church with us and one day she I was in college and she called me she told my mom my mom told I was home from college and so she called us over to her house and she wanted to give me some clothes and I thought what's this 70 year old woman gonna give me that I like so anyway she gave me some of her daughter's old clothes and there were crocheted um uh hot pants hot pants outfits inside and so it was hot pink on one side and purple on the other side and um, it was a crop top and hot hot pants. And so I wore that and I just, I love that outfit, you know, because it was something crochet handmade that nobody else had. And now last fall crochet was in. So I thought about pulling it back out, but you it was should. a little. Yeah, look, we'll see. The 70s, like, they have the best clothes. Like they, they have did. The all coming back. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I, I, think, I think that's the most unique. Okay. What do you feel is your purpose while you're here? My purpose is to encourage others to know that they are found, 
by um, being who I am in the fullest way that I can be. I'm always evolving, evolving into different levels of cameo. So I want to continue to do that. And also, I wanted to uh, be able to show people God's love because um, I think that's important that we know that we are always loved and then turn around and give that love to others. Long hair or short hair? Long hair, girl. <laughs> long hair, long hair, long hair, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Respond to the following question in charade format. How did you feel when you first coached? Oh, oh, let me re ask that. Okay. Respond to the following question in charade format. How did you feel when you coached your very first client to success? Ooh, um, okay, charades. Um. <laughs> oh, I like that. that. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. It is it's so powerful for me to see people go after their goals. Like that is it gives me life. It really, really gives me life. I enjoy helping others achieve their goals and see their visions come to pass. I'm a huge dream person. So I, I, I always encourage people to follow your dreams. Like, what is it that you really want to do? Let's just start taking baby steps towards it because you never know. One day you could be doing it every day. And wouldn't life be so great if you were able to do yes, that? Yes, absolutely it would be. Yeah. How can we support Kimmy Bobo? How can you support me? Well, um, you can go to my website and sign up for one, to, one of my goal setting webinars. I'm still doing goal setting webinars during this time because I believe we're going to come out of COVID-19. I believe that we're going to come out of this social distancing. And I don't want people to be behind on their goals or to lose the, um, the thrill of thinking about their goals. I think it's important that we continue to keep our mind focused and moving forward because there will be a future after this. Also, um, I'm still doing virtual farm girl meetings. So if you guys go to my website, you can go to We Are Farm and you can sign up for, um, sign up your daughter or niece or whoever you know for a farm girl virtual meeting. So I'm excited about those. I have, I'm having those on Monday. So you can sign up for that. Okay. That's how you can support me. How are you leaving a legacy that is notably you? I'm leaving a le legacy through um, by helping women achieve goals, evolve, and be beautiful every day by um, spreading farm around the universe and just the message of farm and be you and um, encouraging others to just walk in their best self, be 100% committed to being their best self in everything that they do in all areas of their lives. And that's the legacy that I leave. I, I hope that I leave a legacy where I show people that you can be 100% yourself and live your best life. That was the last question. How do you feel? Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you said that was good, that. okay. All right, I was ready. <laughs> you did really well. You did not have any, like, lag time. It just, like, flowed and it came Thank true. You. Thank you for doing this. This is awesome. I've been watching them and they've been really good. And um, <laughs> I think it's just a powerful thing that you're doing. I really, I really commend you.